Alrighty, welcome to the T-Mobile Arena, I think. Home of the Las Vegas Aces making their debut here as well. Thanks to Jeff Francis. We're now on the third episode. Last episode we did in our Rumble League. The episode before that, we had the actual fantasy draft. So without further ado, we're going to win our first tip-off with Brooke Lopez. So Holmes is going to give it to Mr. Lonzo Ball. Ball. Trying to drive to the paint, get his first career points, and the first shot in Lonzo Ball's career as well as the Las Vegas Aces career. He's a miss. I accidentally put it on six-minute quarters. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess we can do that for the first season because we might not be that good. As Chris steps for Zingas, the first one to score at the T-Mobile Arena. As Lonzo, he's trying to drive. He's trying to score, but Torian Prince will get the pass from Lonzo and Torian Prince. We'll knock down the shot. Not a great start for Las Vegas. As they're now down 9-3 to three as Lonzo over to Jimmy Butler, who was open for a second. Didn't pull the trigger. Over to Lonzo. Lonzo's open a 1-2 from Lonzo. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, not a great start for Mr. Lonzo Ball. He does have an assist to Torian Prince. As Rivers gets rejected by Lopez, but Devin Booker picks it up. No hustle. From the Aces as an easy shot from Chris Tapps. He's been dominating the Aces so far today. I believe he is in at least nine points. As Jimmy Butler who hasn't done much yet. Overdue. Rashawn Holmes and Holmes will make the bucket to the Aces. Arguably two worst starters. Torrey Prince and Rashawn Holmes. Each with a basket to start the game. There's Rivers over to Chris Tapps. Kristaps being double teamed. Now he's being no teamed. As a help defense. Well, I mean, Kristaps missed a shot. As Brooke Lopez, of all people, bringing the ball up. Lopez, a mid range shot at the top of the key. Yes, sir. Rivers. Guarded by Lonzo. Pick from James Johnson. James Johnson was sort of open for a minute. Rashawn Holmes is guarding Devin Booker for whatever reason. And Jimmy Butler is guarding Chris Tapps. I understand Jimmy's a good defender. I don't want Jimmy on someone who's 7 foot 3, okay? As Austin Rivers, a, an awful shot. He missed it. Once again, no hustle from the Aces. But luckily, they do get the board. Alonzo for 3. Another miss. But Jimmy Butler with the offensive board and the putback. As the Aces now on a 6 nothing run after the Grizzlies... We're on like a, a they, they were on a run of their own. I believe Chris Steps is the only starter left in for either team. None of our starters are in. As Sean Livingston, nice defense from DeJounte Murray, but it'll still go in. Making it 15-9. As DeJounte Murray, former Washington Husky and San Antonio Spur for a year. Over to Tony Snell. Snell guarded by Carroll. Over to Felicio. Felicio trying to Post and toast on Tiago Splitter. Out here looking like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. As Cristiano Felicio is first career points as an ace. That one tipped and stolen by the aces. Malachi Richardson for three. Nope, but Felicio with the board. And Cristiano Felicio has been dominant in the paint. Well, I mean, his first shot wasn't in the paint. Second quarter underway. Is Felicio still in? Uh, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like Jared Allen is in at the center spot. As Tyus Jones guarded by Frank Mason making his NBA debut. Jimmy Butler in for the Aces. Tony Snell, the only player who was in. If he, I think Tony Snell is in at the end of the quarter. Don't quote me. As Booker over to Jared Allen, I guess. Jared Allen, his first career NBA minutes. He's going to pass to Frank Mason. And Mason will be fouled. Will Frank Mason get his first career basket from the free throw line before Kansas Jayhawk go Kansas? As that is in his first career point. His second career point, maybe? Hopefully, yeah, that's green. And it. I accidentally didn't record it, but Tiago Splutter just dunked, and Tony Snow, for whatever reason, decided to push him. As Mason over to Jimmy Butler, Butler over to Owanjoe. Back to Frank Mason, the third. Five points already for Frank. Steven Adams will inbound it for Memphis. He's going to inbound it to Devin Booker. Booker guarded by Jimmy Butler. Booker trying to back down Jimmy over to Carroll, over to Adams. Back to Booker. Some hot potato here for the Grizzlies. Carroll will be the one who shoots it. No good. Rebounded by Ojolay or Ojolay, as I like to say. As Torian Prince 
trying to drive to the paint, and that's what he does. Torian Prince with the bucket. I believe he now has five. I know he had the three earlier. Hasn't really done too much since. As Jones over to Adams, and I don't know what Jared Allen is doing, but you know what? He's going to rebound because he's the center. They get rebounds. As Frank Mason over to Ojale. And Simi Ojale with his first career bucket off the dunk. Jones bringing it up. Ojale. Last one. To cross midcourt. I guess he's still hyped about his dunk. As it'll be Devin Booker who's relatively wide open. But he'll miss it again. Now 0 for 3. All 3 misses from 3 point land. As Torian Prince will miss that shot. Booker with the board. Booker. Yeah, it's going in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jimmy Butler backed up. Booker said... Yeah, I ain't letting this perfect advantage go. Or advantage, I should say, like... Instead of advantage, I should say, like... Opportunity. As Ojale with another dunk. He's been on that dunk fest so far today. As Tyus Jones. Brought by Frank. Over to James Johnson. The vet. Johnson over to Tyus Jones. Jones with the bucket, but... Frank Mason's kind of short, which... Is why, even though he's happy... Because the Aces are losing, don't get that too much. I mean, he's done well, so I guess that's why he's happy. Here comes Lonzo. As Lonzo over to Bertons. Bertons for three. Finally, Davis Bertons knocking one down. I believe he's from Lafia. Chris Stapps is from Lafia. Why can't he be as good as Chris? Well, then, I feel as good as Chris Stapps. They wouldn't have been able to take him. It's Austin Rivers on the drive. Blocked by Lonzo. Lonzo out here looking like DeAndre Jordan. As Lonzo making his presence known on defense, unlike on offense. As LeVar Ball, how much money did money did LeVar gamble that Lonzo would get a triple double this game? I mean, this place is kind of not perfect for LeVar because LeVar seems like the one who will gamble a lot of money on his son to do really well, and he's done anything but really well. So it looks like LeVar's gonna be asking for a chunk of Lonzo's salary, but. Lonzo's making millions, so it's not too bad as Lonzo finally gets a bucket, making LeVar proud. Murray bringing it up. Ace is down by three. He's going to give it to Berton. Berton! On the drive, Davis. Berton hanging off that rim. Give this man a technical. Out here looking like LeBron. If LeBron gets a technical, then Davis Berton would probably get arrested. But luckily, no foul. I mean, I don't think the game is smart enough to realize that. As Chris Stapps guarded by Felicio Murray with it. Ace is down by three. First half winding down. Murray over to Richardson. Richardson's just going to have to let it fly. And he'll miss it. That's how the first half ends. Score. Grizzlies 37. Ace is 34. And a very close first half of play. Second half underway. Memphis will start off with the ball. As Rivers over to... Adams over to Devin Booker. Booker over to Chris Stapps with 17 points in the first half. As the Aces defense, no answer. It. And Rashawn Holmes just stepped out of bounds after his rebound. Yeah, that. Oh, and then he just stole it. So, I mean, I guess that helps out his stats. As Torian Prince with a drive. Torian Prince with a bucket. I believe he leads the team with seven points. As no one is being like Chris Stapps for the Grizzlies today. No one's like. Putting up absurd numbers, like it's kind of balanced. His police cell is like four or five. Butler has like four or five. Uh, Frank Mason, I believe, has five. It was very balanced. It's Lonzo almost with the steal. But obviously, humiliate Austin Rivers in the first half with his block. As Rivers, he's just going to have to shoot it with a shot clock winding down. He'll miss it. Jimmy buckets with the board. And Jimmy over to Holmes, who hasn't really done anything. Holmes over to Torian Prince. Prince for. Three, nope. If he made that three, then I think we could say that he's had an absurd game in a good way, like a very good game. As Rivers over to Chris Stapps, come on, Holmes, play defense. Holmes is only like six nine. As Holmes with another board, that's his second at least of the half. I don't know how many he has this game. As Jimmy, back to Holmes. Holmes for three, nope. But Lopez with the board, he'll give it to Jimmy. Jimmy guarded by Booker, who hasn't done too much so far today. Jimmy trying to get around. Booker over to Holmes, who's already missed one 
shot this possession, but he won't let it be two as Rashawn Holmes the buck. Devin Booker guarded by Butler over to Chris Stapps. Nice defense from Rashawn Holmes. I mean, I understand Chris Stapps made that, but you can't really blame him. The Aces bench has been better than their starters, or at least like plus minus terms. As Lonzo Ball for three, no good. Holmes with the board. Holmes with the fancy schmancy layup. And just like that, the Aces retake the lead. The Aces have made two more shots, but have taken six more. As Austin Rivers, oh! With the fancy schmancy. Alonzo bringing the ball. People said Fox was the best pure point guard of the draft. I think Alonzo's the best pure point guard of the draft. I honestly like, arguably like Fox a little more. I think they're like very like even. But Alonzo is the best pure point guard. Excellent playmaker. As he nailed that three in the corner, Alonzo. Has had a very solid start to the second half and had a very solid end to the first half after a pitiful start. Alonzo just missed both of his free throws. Monte Ellis is wide open. Monte Ellis sucked this year in real life, but he's still a pretty good shooter, I guess. As Bertans for three once again, Davis Bertans has had a very solid game. That's at least his second three of the game. You, I didn't show it, but he just made a wide open three like a minute ago, so. And he had the dunk earlier, so a very solid game for Bertans. Not great defensively, always. Booker, I don't know why he's guarding Devin Booker. That really makes no sense, considering Booker's a shooting guard and Bertans is a power forward. As Lonzo, he's going to drive it. He misses it. Jared Allen for Porter, who hasn't done anything yet today. Will get fouled. Will he make his first career basket at the three throw line? Mm -hmm. Unlike Lonzo, Jared Allen made both of his free throws. I think Lonzo would have made both, but nope, it's Lonzo with the tip. Jimmy Butler will pick it up, and Jimmy Butler will say, it's Jimmy's world. That makes no sense. I, I, I couldn't think of anything else. I don't really know Jimmy's. I, I just thought of it off the top of my head. Here comes DeJounte Murray. As Murray over to Tony Snell. Snell over to Malachi Richardson. Richardson for three. No good. He's not quite Swisherson. That's Josh Swisherson. As Livingston. Over to Austin Rivers. It looks like the Aces players were trying to blow in his ear. Are the Aces players pulling off a Lance Stevenson? Is Lance Stevenson secretly an ace teaching them how to blow in people's ears? As Tony Snell with the three ball. Here comes DeJounte Murray. As Murray. Over to Tony Snell, who already is a bucket in a quarter. Going for one-handed weak, but still a dunk. Steven Adams over to Devin Booker. Okay, Steven Adams. Oh, wide open, and he still missed it. That's 2K for you. Is Jimmy Bowler wide open? Will he miss it? Nope, because he's Jimmy Bowler. That's why. I mean, Jimmy Bowler is an all-star. 14th overall pick in the fantasy draft. By the Las Vegas Aces. Steven Adams is probably like a third round pick. As Rivers guarded by Lonzo. Austin Rivers. Still guarded by Lonzo. As the Aces are starting to run away with it. It's now a seven point game. With about four minutes left in the game. As Lonzo. Over to Torian Prince. Prince for free. Bucket. 58 seconds left. As the Aces are up by eight, Prince over to Lopez. Interesting choice. As Lopez over to James Johnson. Can Johnson and the Grizzlies come back in this game as Rivers will miss it, but Adams will board. And Adams will be fouled by Jimmy Buckets. And the Grizzlies are back in it if Adams makes the free throw. The free throw from Adams is no good. Holmes with the board over to Torian Prince. Prince over to Jimmy. And Jimmy Butler, two hands for authority. 12 seconds left. The Aces are going to win. Is Jimmy going to try to be greedy? I mean, that's not Jimmy's person, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to go for the buzzer beater. I mean, he's wide open. That's not really a buzzer beater. But we might as well add to a stat line as the Aces are going to walk out of here. Oh, my goodness. Austin Rivers made a full court shot. Did it count? I mean, this isn't the first time we've seen full court shots at the end of the game. As Jimmy Butler, your player of the game, did yeah, Austin Rivers shot. Oh my word! Bye, Jimmy Butler's final stat line: 16 points, four boards, and three assists for Jimmy Bucket's first game as an ace.